This time we're looking at creating an organizational chart from a wizard, basically an organizational chart automatically from an Excel spreadsheet in Visio 2016. Yes, that's right. I've done some videos with this in Visio 2010, I think 2013, but not 2016. And there is a little problem with this, as we mentioned by a couple of other YouTube comments. So thanks for that. So what's the problem here? Well, if you look, um, I've suggested in my previous videos that you use an employee ID number for to identify or uniquely identify each person and reports to, and I've done so here. So the way that the organizational chart is structured is Joseph Goldberg is employee ID one, and we know Suzanne Fine reports to Joseph Goldberg because she reports to number one. I use an ID because there two, could be two people called Joseph Goldberg or John Smith or anybody. So that's what we want to do there. So that's our purpose. So if I close down our Excel spreadsheet there, and then I'm going to go to Visio. So I'm just gonna click on categories, and then I'm gonna choose business. And then I'm going to choose organizational chart wizard. Just move myself out of the way. Just gonna double click on organizational chart wizard and the wizard will start. The first thing it's asking me to do is uh, to decide whether I want to create it from information I've already stored in a database or information that I enter using a wizard. So it's, I've really got it in a file. It's an Excel file. If I click next, I can choose a text or plus or it's an Excel file I want. So make sure that's the one that's selected. Then click on next. So now I need to find the file. My file is on my desktop. I can click on browse and locate the file. Uh, there's my file here. That's fantastic. And the language is English United Kingdom, as you can hear from my accent. So we're going to click on next and let Visio do its magic here. Excellent. Okay. Oh, well, it's still doing its magic. So we've got to our next stage of the video. So this is the crux. This is how the organizational chart is structured here. So notice I've got name and employee ID. Just make sure that that is selected from the name. Reports to is the reports to column here. Don't worry about first name just yet. I'm going to click on next. The next stage in the wizard in this organizational chart in Visio 2016 is that we need to choose the columns or the fields from the data that we want to display. So in this case, we want just name and title. Well, that's fine. This can be changed afterwards, and it's another lovely feature of uh, Visio 2016. So just make sure these two are selected. Click on next. The next stage of this is to choose the columns of fields that are included in the shape data, that is in the information behind the organizational chart shapes. Well, I brought it all across. So you might see something across like so. So you just make sure you click the top one and click add a number of times, brings them all across. Click on next. Do you want to use pictures? We're gonna have another video, so say stay tuned of how to do an organizational chart and include pictures in the organization chart. For this time, we're gonna say, don't include pictures in my organization chart and click on next. And then I want it to automatically break my organization chart across pages, so I'm going to click on finish and let Visio work its magic. And then we'll have a look at the problem and see if we can't sort that problem out. Here we go, the Visio chart is the organization chart has been completed. I think that'll be fine, yeah. So let's have a look and see what it's done here. If I just hold down Control and Shift and zoom in, you can see Toby Nixon, researcher number 47. Meng Fua, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, researcher number 48. In fact, if I go to page one and zoom in by holding Control and uh, Shift and uh, zoom in here, Joseph Goldberg, number one, holding down Control and Shift, and using the right mouse button to pan around. Susan, find number two. That's great, but I don't want these numbers appearing, so how do I get rid of them? Well, making sure you've got the organizational chart select tab selected at the top here, we're gonna to go to the options button just here on the right-hand side. You see it says display options. Give that a click. Then in the dialog box, I'm gonna select fields. So in block one, I'm going to have name and an untick title. And then in block two, I'm just going to choose uh, title. Here we go. Click on OK. Wait for a year and a day and eventually you can see it's updated. It's got rid of that horrible number there. So you can use that options menu to change the names around. I've just got to be careful because one of them, which I believe is the top name, uh, is the name itself here. So if I wanted to name the bottom one, if I just click in the drop down list, I've just got to be careful which name I'm selecting here. See, I've got a name here. So if I wanted department at the top, 
or if I wanted um, title here at the top and then I wanted name down here I can click on OK I've just got to watch out because one of the you see executive system 2 so that's the wrong name so very quickly just choose the correct name because that's the name that it's using for the structure so that's it title at the top sorry about that and this next one is just going to be the name at the bottom here so this bottom name click on OK and then we get the name of the person Susan fine we can see she's the executive ex assistant holding control and shift and using the wheel to zoom back and as you can see all of them updated I haven't had to select anything so there we go hope you've enjoyed it uh, please watch out for more videos and thank you so much for watching